We're here in Frankfurt on Main on the hunt for 800 Luxon components inside the iconic Horizon Tower. 23 floors high and the components are hidden somewhere there in the middle floors. We're about to meet with Janis Nibat, the technical director at Infrastar, the Luxon partner who led the implementation of this project. Hi, Janis, great to see you and thanks for making time for us. Tell us, what have you implemented here with Luxon? Yes, this is an office building covering nearly 3,000 square meters across three floors. With Luxon we've implemented shading and lighting throughout every room, hallway and social area as well as crucially heating, ventilation and cooling. Yeah, I've heard about that. 270 valve actuators. I'd love to see where they've been installed. All right then, we've got a bit of walking ahead of us. They're installed all along the facade of the building. Each facade element has an underfloor convector, and inside each one there's both a cooling and a heating valve actuator. And in dem underfloor convector sits jeweils ein Kühlstellantrieb und ein. Great, let's take a look. Perfect. We were looking for a building management system that's user-friendly and could later be integrated into the overall building control system. Here on the 12th, 13th and 14th floors we have four key applications. Lighting control, heating, ventilation and cooling. Luxon brings all of this together in a way that's easy to use and clearly displayed. Luxon can das bedienerfreundlich alles darstellen. So here we are at the outer facade. Every two meters there's an underfloor convector where the valve actuators are installed. Each convector contains two valve actuators, one for the cooling circuit and one for the heating circuit. If you walk along the entire facade you'll find 130 underfloor convectors in total, each with two valve actuators which gives us a grand total of 260 valve actuators. Wenn man jetzt im Prinzip die Fassade komplett entlang geht, kommen wir auf 130 Unterflurkonvektoren und jeder hat zwei Stück, also sind wir bei 270 Stellantrieben. Okay, and I see a few other locks on components here. What are they used for? Exactly, we've opened a Luxon box, what we call an LX box, just for you, so you can see how the components are installed. Inside you'll see relay extensions, the power supply unit and an AI extension. These are mainly used for controlling the shading. The blind control lines run into here. The free fan speeds of the underfloor convectors are also controlled via the relays. Plus we've integrated temperature sensors in the fresh air intake to capture analog values die drei Lüfterstufen der Unterflurkonvektoren angesteuert und wir haben dann noch Temperatursensoren hier in, den, in, in der Frischluft, damit äh, wir dort eben den analogen Wert reinbekommen. And everything is controlled via the TouchPure Flex. I see them everywhere. You've, you've kept things nice and simple, haven't you? Exactly. The TouchPure Flex, specifically designed for this project, keeps things simple and intuitive for office workers. So they don't need training. It allows basic control like fan speed on off, lighting on off, and blind control. Da ist es relativ übersichtlich gehalten mit Lüfterstufen an aus, Lichter an aus. And there are quite a few installed here. I've already walked through the building. My step count is up. How many are used here? We have 60 installed. Okay. Okay. Wow. And in a moment, I'd like to ask you how to properly plan a project like this, how to structure it and keep everything organized, Janis. I'll show you. Janis, how do you go about planning a project of this scale? You've got eight mini servers, 800 Luxon components here. What's your approach to tackling a project of this size? Mm, yes, the most important thing is having a clear understanding of exactly which components we need to control. The biggest challenge in this project was definitely the underfloor convectors. They came with their own control systems and separate control boxes. On top of that, the documentation wasn't great due to the building's age. So our first step was to identify what kind of devices we were dealing with, how they function, what control options we had, and how we wanted to implement them. From there, it was all about getting started and introducing structure as early as possible to keep a clear overview. We made good use of the building layout, dividing it into logical wings to ensure everything would function smoothly on the link. 
For example, one section of the building runs with 30 extensions and another with 30 as well, so distributing the mini servers accordingly just made sense. We also coordinated closely with you, received excellent technical support and shared our planning for feedback. Checking things like table lengths and ensuring everything was on the right track. Once everything was aligned, we got started, and throughout, documentation was key. We developed a labeling system based on the building structure, created a clear internal framework, and shared it right away with our team handling the wiring in the LX boxes. angenommen und begleitet, genau. Und wir, ja, und und dann haben wir einfach losgelegt. Und das Wichtigste dabei ist halt wirklich die Beschriftung. Da haben wir uns Bezeichnungen quasi anhand des Gebäudes überlegt und einfach eine Systematik und immer auch diese Sachen aktuell dann sofort auch äh, unseren Leuten, die die Verkabelung gemacht haben in den LX-Boxen, äh, die Verdrahtung, dass es auf die richtigen Reihenklemmen ist. Also da haben wir immer auch die Config mit, äh, ähm, mit, mit drin gehabt und haben natürlich auch in unserem Plan ähm, alles vermerkt und alles bezeichnet und beschriftet. And for you as a Luxon partner with 800 components in play, how do you keep track of it all? Das wirklich alles sauber läuft, wenn ihr es jetzt an den Kunden übergeht. Yes, planning is absolutely essential. We also installed labeling plaques throughout the building. These make it easy to identify which valve actuators belong where, what it controls, which LX box it's connected to, and which mini server is responsible for it. That way we can quickly locate devices based on the labels and even offer remote support and maintenance. And if needed, we can easily send a service technician or guide the in-house facility manager directly to the right spot. Können wir relativ schnell aus dieser Bezeichnung quasi direkt zum Endgerät springen und auch aus der Ferne ähm, das supporten und warten und wirklich einen Servicetechniker oder einen Inhouse Facility Manager dorthin schicken and und die uh, End Users they're not always standing next to the heater or in the exact area where it should be warm or cool that's where automated reports and Error logs come in, the facility manager can receive an automatic email notifying them that a specific device has failed, even if it's hidden somewhere behind a wall and wouldn't be noticed right away. Irgendwo in irgendeiner Wand versteckt sitzt, was der jetzt so im ersten Blick gar nicht mitkriegt. Oder er hat's halt dann am Ende in der App drin, aber da seid ihr ja ganz frei, je nachdem. Exactly. Ganz genau, genau. Could you have done this with conventional technology? Yes, of course it would have been possible, but only with a huge amount of effort. Just imagine the time it would take to rewire even a single component, moving a blind from one side to the other or reassigning it to a different room. It's practically unthinkable with conventional systems. Okay. So Janis, we're talking about a 20-year-old existing building here. How did you manage to integrate everything and get it all under control? Yes, exactly. There were existing devices in the building that we couldn't replace, so we simply integrated them. And it worked really well with the valve actuators. Even the internal shading was straightforward to implement. And you've been a Loxon partner for several years now. Did you ever imagine you'd be implementing Loxon across office floors in the LG Tower for such a high-profile tenant? No, I wouldn't have imagined that back then. But even during my very first Loxon Foundation training, I remember thinking, wow, if only we had known about and used this sooner. We were always working on commercial properties, program lighting systems and other functions. And that's when I realized Loxon has serious potential to grow. But dealing with this many devices, that's something else entirely. I've never experienced anything like it, even in media or event technology, controlling 800 devices on a single bus system, it's just insane. Of course, all of this is possible for you too, whether you're an electrician working in building automation and want to become a Luxon partner, or you own a commercial property, be it a new building or an existing one that you'd like to make smart. Luxon offers a fully scalable solution that covers all types of businesses. Just book an appointment with a Luxon partner near you or visit our website at luxon.com. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Janis, thanks again for your time. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Bye. See you.